Welcome back. February is heart month and heart disease is the number one killer of Americans. We're happy to welcome in Liz Bell, Senior Director of the Cardiovascular Service Line at Ascension St. John Medicine to talk about this very important issue. Welcome in, Liz. Thank you. Good Thanks to have you here. Me. Well, you hear that number one killer of Americans. I think that surprises a lot of people. Is that correct? Yeah, I think I think most adults don't think of, you know, heart disease in their daily life, um, even though it impacts so many Americans and, and certainly uh, is our number one, uh, you know, reason for uh, death in our country. And so today I'd like to just talk about some ways to incorporate exercise, uh, which is one of the things that we have control over in our lives. You know, how much we're moving, how much we're staying healthy um, into our conversation. And so, you know, uh, there's recommended guidelines of 150 minutes for adults uh, of, of moderate to vigorous exercise per week. Um, but we know that that's daunting. And so one of the things that I think is really important is to try to break it up during the day. So um, if you're willing to do 10 minutes, you know, as you start your day and then sort of 10 minutes at the end of the day, um, that would be a great way to improve exercise in your life. Most people are daunted by the idea of, you know, 20 to 30 minutes a day all at one time. I think when people look at exercise and, and staying healthy and heart healthy, for example, you know, they hear, they think you need to join this fitness routine and, and be an avid gym goer. Mm -hmm. But is it the simple things like a daily walk or, or things like that that can really help people? Yeah, so th my first recommendation um, as a nurse is just find an accountability partner. You know, that might be someone you live with or someone you work with um, to commit to, to just saying, how are we going to move better together? So that might be a walk, you know, that you take um, in, on break time at work or um, might say even to your, you know, um, partner, I want to park a little bit further away. And so we get a few more minutes as we're walking into our um Act activities, grocery shopping, or you know, uh, going going to where you go shopping for the day, um, and so if you're able to incorporate that and just keep a timer on it, that that counts as movement. The other thing is using free resources like uh, YouTube has tons of great videos, both for um, people who are more sedentary. So you can look at chair fitness um, for those people who are daunted by you know a gym membership. Um, that's a great an, another great tool to use. So um, I'd recommend uh, finding a free resource like that and have an accountability partner and a, and also making a plan. It's really just doing something. It's yeah. really getting out there, doing something, staying active can help a lot. Well, Liz, thank you so yeah. much for being here. We appreciate it as always. 